Here's what's really going on with those Prince William and Kate Middleton royal rival rumors. Lots of legal action happening. Now that those Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle feud rumors have finally been put to rest, tabloids have started reporting on an alleged falling out involving Kate, Prince William, and a family friend named Rose Hanbury, who is the Marchioness of Colmendalee which is somehow pronounced like Chumley. But it seems the royal family is hella peeved about these reports because they've reportedly taken to legal action. And some think it's because of an affair. If you're confused about these rumors, the phrase rural rival that's been thrown around lately, and who TF Rose even is, we got you. Okay first things first, who is Rose? Rose, aka the Marchioness of Colmendalee, is a former model who lives with her husband, film director David Roxovich in Norfolk, England. For the uninitiated, Google says a Marchioness is the wife of someone who ranks just below a duke in the British peer system. Rose's home is pretty close to Kate and William's Anmer Hall country home, and they run in the same social circles. Since Rose lives in the countryside, that's likely why British tabloid The Sun started referring to her as Kate's rural rival once things turned sour. Things turned sour between Rose and Kate. What even happened? So a few weeks ago, the Sun reported that Kate was upset about a story that claimed she told William to have Rose phased out of their circle because she and Rose supposedly had a falling out. Nobody truly knows what Kate and Rose are allegedly feuding about, but this is where the rumors get extra dramatic. The American publication In Touch reported William may have had an affair with Rose, and when Kate supposedly confronted him about it, he apparently laughed it off saying there was nothing to it. Again, nothing has been confirmed. And there's no actual public evidence that William cheated on Kate, so these reports are shaky at best. Plus, according to the Daily Mail's royal reporter Richard K., it's all fake news. He wrote, Both sides have considered legal action, but, because none of the reports have been able to offer any evidence about what the so-called dispute is about, they have chosen to ignore it. These hurtful rumors of a fallout are simply false. Tell me more about this legal action. Okay. This is where things get a little tricky. Even though Richard said there's no ongoing legal action happening from the royals right now, the Daily Beast claims otherwise. In a recently published report, the outlet said they understand that pressure was applied by the palace to get a fair rumor claims removed from staff writer Giles Corrin's Twitter. If you're wondering what Giles of the Times of London's tweet said, it reportedly went a little something like this. Yes, it is an affair. I haven't read the piece but I know about the affair. Everyone knows about the affair, darling. Eek. Even scarier, the Daily Beast reports that at least one British publication has been served with legal warnings after publishing details of the rumors by the royal's lawyers of choice. One of the letters from the royal's lawyers allegedly stated, in addition to being false and highly damaging, the publication of false speculation in respect of our client's private life also constitutes a breach of his privacy pursuant to Article 8 of the European Convention to Human Rights. So what's the truth? Nobody but William, Kate, and Rose really know what actually went down, if anything, but the British tabloids definitely have to be extra cautious, as they should be, when deciding what to report or else they may get served with more papers. After all, According to The Sun's royal editor, Duncan Larkham, while traditionally, the British royal family would not take specific legal action, William and Harry are willing to do it in their own way. Do not come for them.